Hi, it's Stacy with Hex Inverter Electronics, and today I'm going to be showing you the Mutant Bass Drum. The Mutant Bass Drum is the first in a series of modules called the Mutant Drums. The Mutant Drums are classic percussion synthesis designs, reborn as something completely different. So the idea here isn't a vintage clone, the idea here is um, a vintage circuit topology that's been completely mutated, if you will, into something developed uh, with the mindset of the Eurorack modular synthesis style. By that, I mean obviously vintage drum machines didn't have things like voltage control and additional features which allow you to create sounds that are more exploratory and experimental than simply an emulation of a uh, physical drum like what the original drum machines intended to do. They were trying to create drums and that's it. Whereas here we're synthesizing sounds from scratch and we want to be able to create have a lot of explorative options for creating sounds. That's where the mutant drums come in. So without further ado I'm just gonna go through some of the features and show you what they do, what the module's capabilities and limitations are, and I'm probably not going to be doing anything that you'd consider too musical here. The idea is just to show you what you can and cannot do with it, and hopefully uh, my demonstration piques your interest and it gives you ideas of what you could be doing with this module. So I've plugged a trigger source into the trigger input, and we can hear the clean sound the clean output sound. So the clean output is not through the distortion effect, which I'll get through later, and it's characteristic of the TR-808. So it uses the same twin T oscillator that generates a damp and sine wave. And so as you can hear, you have those classic 808 bass drum sounds. So you can get vanilla sounds out of this. The decay is adjustable. As you can hear, it goes into self-oscillation there. This limit is easily set by the screw potentiometer on the front here, this little trim. You can play around with that and adjust it to how you like. The pitch is of course also adjustable. So you can get some, definitely get some tom sounds out of it. and you can go subsonic. The pitch is fully voltage controlled via an optocoupler or Vactrol, and plugging something into the pitch CV input gives you approximately volts per octave response. You're not gonna get exactly musical response, and that's just because the core of the 808 bass drum is a fairly unstable, unpredictable circuit to begin with, so tuning that would just be too costly. Given that, you can still create really cool bass lines and use the bass drum module actually as a synth voice uh, by voltage controlling the pitch and decay and the distortion parameter, you can get some really cool synth sounds out of it that aren't even really bass drums, so it's fairly versatile. So now we're listening to the distorted output. This is where things get interesting, of course. In case you didn't know, this distortion circuit is a voltage-controlled optocoupler distortion. It's very similar in top topology to the battery acid module. In case you didn't know, the distortion circuit on the side here is completely independent of the bass drum circuit. And when you plug something else into the distorted imp input here, it will break the connection to the bass drum. So you can actually have a bass drum coming out of here and be using this side of the module to process something completely different. Uh, a synth lead, for example, or other drums even. So here I am playing with the distortion amount. As you can hear, you can get some pretty crazy bass drum sounds out of it. So here I've got kind of an XOX style bass line going on the mutant bass drum. And by that I mean by using adjacent gates and CV 
on a step sequencer, I've created kind of a sliding note sound, and also using the pitch CV input, the distortion CV input, I've created kind of accented notes on those pitches, which is characteristic of the TB303. So you can adjust kind of the distortion per step, which I'm doing on underneath out of camera view here. And you can get some really interesting patterns created by doing that. So I'll just bring in some hi-hats. Some crunchy hi-hats. So this is just using the two mute, first mute and drum modules here. Uh, the bass drum as kind of a bass sound source and the hi-hats for hi-hats. I'll be doing another demo video with the mutant hi-hats soon, so be sure to check that one out as well.